So cut it in half. So if you're going to do this, you're going to buy very small zucchini. And while she's doing that, I'm going to work with the flour. So for this, we're using unbleached all-purpose flour. And with this, we want some cheese. And here we're going to use, this is pecorino. Pecorino. So that's what kind of cheese? Pecorino. Romano, Romano, which is sheep's milk. So yep. this is a sheep's milk cheese. So we're going to sprinkle that right around our fontana with the flour. But this does have a lot of water. I never Yeah, so that what are we going to do with that? So it still has some water. We want to make sure that's very dry. So let's see how much you have. That's great. And you notice she did it on a paper towel because we were talking earlier and we I was did. giving her a I few cheated. tips. Huh? <laughs> so what are we going to do with this now? We're going to roll it in the paper towel to kind of soak up all that water to get all the water out of exactly. there. Exactly. So you want to do this maybe an hour, an hour and a half before you're ready to put this together. So while that's just draining, we have some. So why don't you unroll that one okay. and show them what that looks like. And while you're doing that, I'm going to get some salt and just a pinch of salt big on our Fontana. So let's show them the difference. Yeah, big difference. Look at how dry that is. That's nice and dry. So we know we're not going to add a lot of excess flour. So before we put that in, mm -hmm. here's the ricotta part. So I like to use whole milk ricotta for this, but if you wanted to use low fat, mm -hmm. you could. And I'll tell you, this is very messy. Remember, I oh, said this yes. is a messy procedure. We're going to dump it right there, <laughs> right on top of that flour. We've got our flour, our cheese. We've got salt. Mm -hmm. Now I need you to egg. beat up an egg. So All there's right. one egg. So beat that up. I'm going to take your zucchini here. And we're going to put this right on top of this. Could you pass me a fork? Yes. Thank okay. You. Just lightly beat that up. And now. You know this, but maybe they don't know this at home, that a gnocchi like this is a first course, right? Yes. So this is what you would have before you would have, let's say, your meat course. And you could put a variety of different sauces with this, but today we're going to do a basic tomato sauce. Okay. So now, watch, I'm just going to burrow down here. Looks pretty just does like that, pretty. doesn't it? Okay, dump the egg on. Right. Messy. Okay. And now we have to use our hands. So I'll start and then okay. I'm going to let you finish. So you just kind of move this around. All of this. I know, it looks very messy. But you'd be surprised the nice lump of dough that we're going to get out of this. So mm -hmm. you don't want to be afraid to use your hands. I'm having you do this like this because this is not something you would want to do in a food processor. So we're going to work with this in small pieces. So I'm going to give you a piece, Becky. Right. I'm just going to take a little off and my hand. And I'm going to take a piece. Put it there, and the rest of this we're just going to put aside until we need it. All right, now there are several ways to do this. We can do this the old lazy way, <laughs> or we can do it the real traditional way. And as I say, we're going to do this with a tomato sauce, but you could also do it with a butter sauce, you could do it with a gorgonzola cheese sauce. There are many ways that you could sauce these. Here's a little trick. Probably should have done this ahead of time, but it's a little trick you can try at home. Okay. Once you have the dough made up, mm -hmm. make one. Make one. Oh. Dump it in boiling water. If it holds together, mm -hmm. you're good to go. If it doesn't hold together, you've got to add what? More flour. More flour. <laughs> More flour. So that's, that's a little trick. So that is going to save you a headache. So let me show you what you have to do. You want to get a big pot of boiling water going, just like this. And then you want to salt that. And I think this is a really nifty idea. I don't know if you've seen these, but this is just the exact amount of salt you need to cook about a pound of pasta. So you put one in. Other than that, if you're not using these, put about a tablespoon of sea salt into your pot of boiling water. Then you get those gnocchi, and here they are. And now, to get them in the pan, I just take the entire towel and drop them in. Just shake them in, because they're very delicate. Just shake them in, and you let them go now until they bob to the top. 
When they start bobbing to the top, I know that they're ready to take out. So remember, I told you that we were going to have a sauce with this. So I'm going to have tomato sauce because I think this is perfect with the ricotta gnocchi. So here we have just fresh tomato sauce. You can find this recipe on the Chow Italia website. This is just plum tomatoes, a little olive oil, garlic, basil, a little red wine, salt and pepper. You cook it for about 20 minutes, you've got sauce. So I'm gonna put some in a pan. When you mix gnocchi, you wanna do it in a big saute pan like this. So look right here, you can see how they're starting to bob to the top. They don't take very long. Once they all come to the surface, it takes about two minutes for them to cook. You want them to remain plump and light and you don't want to overcook them so that they become tough and mushy. So as they bob to the top, you gather them up like so, you see? You shake off as much water as you can. Use a spider like this. Or if you don't have something like this, you could use a sieve with a handle. And I take them and I put them right there, right on top. So we're gonna move those around in the sauce. And you see what happens, those little grooves that we made, all the sauce gets absorbed in there. And here are some more that I made earlier. I'm gonna put all of those in. A recipe like this, I'm gonna serve about eight people. So you wanna gauge the amount of sauce. All right, now I'm gonna turn that off and get out the platter for this. So when you're ready to serve this, get out a nice kind of oval dish like that. And then take your gnocchi and just put them right in, just like that. Beautiful. Then you just need to give them a little bit of cheese. Aren't they gorgeous? So I like to use a pecorino cheese for this. So here is a pecorino romano, that's a sheep's milk cheese. And there you have it.